Well, it's Tuesday morning now for you, and uh, we're going to read Psalm 18, but it's 50 verses long, so we're only going to read about, <coughs> excuse me, about the first um, We'll read the first 12 verses. How about that? I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me. The torrents of destruction assailed me. The cords of Sheol entangled me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. To the God, I cried for my help. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. Then the earth reeled and rocked. The foundations also of the mountains trembled and quaked because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Glowing coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. He came swiftly on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, thick clouds dark with water. Out of the brightness before him, hailstone and coals of fire broke through his clouds. And it keeps going like that until God finally arrives and delivers David from his enemies. Now, he wrote all of this. It says, um, The day when the Lord delivered him from the hands of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. So, um, he has just been vindicated and delivered from all these enemies. And he writes this psalm. Um, that part that I read there toward the end of what we read about the anger of the Lord. The Lord is angry that uh, people would attack his chosen one. And it says, it says he's angry. And then it says that smoke comes out of his nostrils. And so this concept of anger, you know, we think of the word <coughs> Excuse me, the word the word anger is sort of a denominates an emotion. In Hebrew, it's much more visceral than that. It, it the word has to do with, you know, like a snorting horse, you know, stomping its foot and going, <clears throat> and and blowing smoke out of its out of its nose, and that's what God does when God gets angry. He blows the smoke, and glowing coals flame forth and fire from his mouth um, very uh, sort of literal um, picture of what an angry person might look like um, um, if you imagine them uh, having all these powers I guess we would say um, not so different from the cartoons and the fantasy movies and all of that 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 we like so much you know our heroes come flying down from outer space and and breathe fire or throw fire or electricity or something you know and and wipe out our enemies and that's what david imagines god is going to do he rides in on a cherub uh, with clouds around him dark clouds full of rain and um, hailstones and stuff and fire falls out of it and in all of that, my enemies are, are chased away and defeated. Well, I imagine that sometimes we have enemies that we'd like to see defeated. Um, sometimes we have um, real enemies, and sometimes we have enemies that, you know, we imagine are our, our enemies, and we just kind of want them to go away and leave us alone. Um, and so whether it's something big or small, whether it's an enemy who's really threatening your life or just making you inconvenienced, um, God wants to be there and kind of help you take care of that. Um, and sometimes God shows us that the enemy that we think of as you know, such a terrible 
enemy and inconvenience is really not and what God has to do is to sort of fix us instead of instead of conquering them but God can do that too so have courage and go through the day and we will see you uh, Wednesday morning